The best part of motherfucking waking up is getting a bust your nut. No, it's espresso in your cup. Is it really espresso or Folgers? Or I like- can't believe this dude earlier this week said espresso and he said espresso. Mm, don't embarrass me. <laughs> I had, you know what? There's because there's there's Nespresso the machine, mm-hmm. and so I like. N- there's no excuse actually. I know. I was like, how's he gonna get out of this hole? I was trying. Oh my there's god. There's no X in es- Nespresso. No. What was worse is when I tried to spell it and I spelled espresso. I'll slap you oh in my the face. God, I'm thinking I'm a little dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed for that. Actually, no, like, you're just tired. You're just tired. I'm sleepy. Yeah, it's been a long. I'm jet lag. Still. <laughs> Three hours. You've been here for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> do you like do you like Indy? Um uh, actually it's it not too bad. You? It's a little bit actually. At a first I was like, he hates it. I was like, this is a great place to raise a family. <laughs> this, downtown's different though. Indy's like where they send you in if you're on witness protection. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and they don't want people to find you. Because who's gonna look for somebody in Indiana? Like they're <laughs> they're in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no way it's the town is so easy we were just walking down the street the other day and i was like yo bro that's where the pacers play and you're like what <laughs> literally i'm like wait really <laughs> right there and it didn't even look good because <laughs> it's under construction i was like mm, i'm the, sticking up for the they, town do they do pra- I'm the mayor <laughs> you're like are they practicing here <laughs> this is a pacers practice this looks horrible so it didn't look anything like the staples center no nah, the staples center it's not that anymore it's oh, what is sta- it now? I don't know. Crypto.com? It's crypto.com. That's so lame. It's heck Staples long. Center is hard. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. And it's a, that's a long name. Crypto.com? You wanted a crypto.com center? That's mm, so annoying. And no. crypto is like dead anyway, I think. I mean, I know. California, I was never in the game. Like it, People in California don't know how to act over it. They're like too much, like over crypto. Oh, like oh. crypto the thing or crypto the name of crypto, the, crypto, the arena? Just crypto the thing. It's so I'm annoying. So over it. So do you, have, do people, you like bet and stuff? I'm not good at it. I like the thrill, but I don't like losing. So it's, it sucks because I will bet and I'll swear up and down. Like, I feel like my my thought process going into anything when I bet, I'm like, bro, I got this. And I just don't every single time. I'm so bad at it. And yeah. I always go for like the super wild card. Me too. I'm like, bro, the, the, he ha- this has to work. Has to happen. I swear I have a blueprint and a formula that never works. But every time like I Like when you feel one. like you ever fill out a bracket, like... You know what I mean? I have March before Madness. one time for March Madness, and I, um, I always like pick like the 18th seed, I, seed to win. Literally, I'm like I swear, bro, this is it. Uh, my whole first round is just all lost. It, it sucks. It always ends up being the first seeds in the Final Four. Why it's do so I think stupid. it's gonna be something else? Every- and then sometimes something stupid like like Duke Butler, will, Duke will lose, and you're like Florida oh Golf Cup. I know it's so annoying. Weber State. And you're like, oh, how? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, no. Would you rather every Would you rather espresso edition? Espresso edition. Yeah, but if you said it espresso edition. Would you rather espresso edition? <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. Every morning you get bit by 50 mosquitoes. Mhm. Every morning. Or or once a week you get bit by a cat. You have to fight a cat. You don't know when that when in that week, but it's going to happen once a week. I hate cats, so I'd rather get bit by a cat. Is it, is it like a but bite? But why? Like that a doesn't cat make bite? Sense. Like a cat's like attacking you and they bite you, scratch you. Just for how long? Like a minute? Until you fight it off. I'll no. take the cat. Well, you sometimes that may take five minutes and sometimes that may take 30 seconds. Is it a big like cougar? Or is it a little like house cat? Well, I mean, house cats are pretty vicious. Nah, bro. You, just, you just shut the door on them in the bathroom and they'll never see the light of day. Okay. So you're choosing the, the, the cat over... I was just super like... Animal cruelty, right there, dude. House cats are <laughs> vicious, bro. House I like, I, res- I respect them. They kill one point three to four billion birds per year. They're vicious, but like that's uh, a lot. And birds are terrifying. Have you seen an eagle? Have you seen a turkey vulture? Vul- vultures look like zombie birds. Oh, oh my god! And they get killed by cats. Well, they're so fast. Them. But uh, cats, yeah, they're they're vicious. But I think uh, I think I could like. I'd be cool. Uh, it's not like, okay, it scratches me once and it's over. But 50 Dude, mosquito bites not. on your ankles, like the whole week. Oh, yeah. Have you seen cats punch? They punch like boxers. Cats have hands, bro. Oh, my they God. Can, they, they, like, can, they can get off t- press coverage easy, Oh, bro. my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like cats, like, at all. I don't either. They're, like, scary to me. What do you uh, think about cat owners? 
You know what? I think cat dog owners are actually more annoying than cat owners. Cat owners like are scared to admit that they have cats. I think cat owners are very like introverted. They're like, I love my cats to me. I keep them with me. Like dog owners are like, you I love my them? dog. You love them too. Yeah. Like they're like, you need to love my dog so too. True. And I'm like, get it away. They're, it's not. Why do you mine. need validation? Why are you taking it? Why? Well, I don't want to see your dog licking itself while I'm cat eating. Cat people burger. are cooler, but. They're also weird in their own way because, like, dude, cats just shit in a box in your house. In sand. Isn't that weird? And it just stays there. And you just have to clean it up. Like, dogs, they shit outside. And like, you can whatever. just pick it up. Like, but cats, like, they're just pooping in your closet. Cats are, like, they're very mischievous. They just seem like they're just up They're to all the good. devil. Dog. I think it's weird how people in Egypt, like, worship cats. Those cats were different, I think. I feel like they were, like, a different type of cat. Like, they weren't, like, our typical, like, you know, house cats and stuff. Like, their cats were like, I don't know. I wasn't born in Egypt. I'm not Egyptian. <laughs> Why am I making excuses for cats? Like, I know them. <laughs> Different type of cat. What species? I don't, <laughs> Siamese. I don't know. Siamese. Isn't that what they're called? Siamese cats? I think. I they're don't know. terrifying. They look like twins? Um, they look gross. Siamese cats look like a testicle. Wait, wait. Are they? There's a bald one. One cat with two heads? No, like they're just called Siamese. They're just oh no, never mind. What's the bald one's name? Bald cats are those so actually weird. look so Skin dope. Skin cats. I, I think all cats look pretty good actually. They actually cats look, are so long. You ever see a cat like stretch out and try to like, reach are, a window? Like, like you're six two. <laughs> <laughs> they're like point slinky. guard from Egypt. A sphinx cat. That's what they worship. Sphinx, bro. They're so they yeah, look but so I think smart. the, the sphinx like that they worship is like a it's like a different animal. It's like a fox. Yeah, a, a sphinx is a is is something though. A it's sphinx like, is its own animal, but I don't think it's a bald animal. Like is this. Maybe it is. Sphinx a WNBA team or is well, that lynx? Can you look up? Uh, maybe it is a sphinx, Egyptian sphinx or something like that. I'm sure that's like a thing. I can't wait to see this. Like a gold sphinx. It'd be cool to have in your house for decoration. Oh, yes, bro, I know. want one of those on, like, my nightstand. Those are pretty dope. That's a cat. Oh, my God. That's crazy, dude. If you can go back to any time period, what would it be? Oh, my God. Probably, like, my sophomore year of high school. I'm oh, just my God. <laughs> I was so selfish. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, fourth quarter, what, what Friday night. You, I'm just oh playing. Oh, my God, what trauma did you live through? Oh, no. Did, um, if I could go back to any point in time, God, I kind of, I hate old shit. <laughs> like <laughs> movies that are about old, like that aren't today. I'm like, I can't watch it. Well, you're, I think like, you're if I see an old car in a movie, I'm like, turn it off. We were talking like the 1800s and stuff like that. Like so I would go, annoying. I would go back to like Egyptian times for sure. That'd be cool. For sure. I would love to feel like, oh my God, we're somebody. Like I, we're on top of the world. I'm so lame. I'd probably go back to like 1990. That's so dumb. You'll go back to your birth year. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to like live the nineties cause they're dope. Oh my god! That's the only thing I a know. Back to the future, gonna run into your mom and fall in love with her. Ew! Oh my god! Isn't that what happened? I'd probably be homies with my mom. My mom was like forty. I'd be like this age, thirty. I'd be homies with my dad for sure. I don't think I would like my mom. Oh my god! I hate my dad. I slash his tires. I oh mean, my what? god! <laughs> <laughs> my mom would probably be hilarious, but she was too. She was too like bossy. Um, bossy. I'd be like, oh my god, you're not the boss of me, lady. But like, I would. Uh, what would you do back in the Egyptian times? Oh, I would be a pharaoh for sure. Oh, you so would. You have pharaoh vibe. Oh my God. I, I can't believe you don't have like a pharaoh tattoo. I have a pharaoh face. You do? I do have a pharaoh face. You do, bro. I think, I, you know what's funny? I actually did want an Egyptian like sleeve. I just don't know like what Egyptian. Somebody has is. one. Uh, Lamar Woodley has like a pharaoh on his forearm. Lamar Woodley, the linebacker from Michigan. Oh, played really? For maybe the Raiders for a little bit. Did he? Played for a lot of teams. Mm. Ravens. Uh, ooh, that's second. actually pretty dope. See, bro? Egyptian shit is lit. It's dope, dog. Look at that. Man, I kind of want to be Egyptian now. Low key. I love being black. <laughs> <laughs> black and Egyptian would be a cool combo. I mean, it's the same thing for the most part. They're both in Africa. Oh. <laughs> Did you not know? I need to wake up. All right. So, uh... The Espresso Podcast, Shot 226. I'm your host, Benedict Polizzi. And guess who's back? The, uh, my Egyptian friend, Jabrian. Oh, I'm back again. <laughs> <laughs> Egyptian friend. <laughs> Remember to join the Patreon, $5 a month for one extra episode a week. Go to benedictmerch.com to get your feeling glonky gear. Get your who's buying this gear. Get your espresso hats. All that. Remember, Vegas, September 2nd. I'm at the Virgin Theater in Las Vegas, 
Open it up for Nikki Glaser. Can't wait. Can't wait. Is it, really so called, is it really called the Virgin Theater? So on brand, right? Oh, my God. They're breaking the virgin. You're losing your virginity. Can't, seriously. Can't wait to pass out. <laughs> but uh, the espresso quote, 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 question of the week is, ask me and Jay Brian a question. Anything. It can be from F Boy Island or just whatever. But ask us something. So let's roll. Let's Wrong do it. Cut. Hi, Jay Brian. I don't know if I should be sending this to you or the Espresso podcast, but my question for you two is, why do they make you guys wear those big, black, chunky anal beads throughout the entire season? I've been waiting for this. Um, and did you guys use them on each other? I'm just wondering. Uh, but you thank you guys answer. so much for such a good season. I wish there was more of you two. You guys are so funny. Um, the best thing that came out she of this that. entire season was was honestly um, seeing everyone outside of whatever <laughs> that island was. Um, you guys have such good chemistry. It's great to see. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, also Mercedes can that. suck my dick. Oh, Bye. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> but what people don't know is uh, we have the best chemistry because, I mean, we're all casted for similar qualities because we're all kind of D-bags, low-key, but good people. Yeah. And uh, Mercedes is a great guy, He's, He really is. He like, was just game planning on the show. He, he was, was just he smart. strategy. Like, he went in there with a plan. Like, me and Jabrian were nice guys. We didn't really need a plan. We're just going like, we're, we're to be ourselves, and it'll take care of that. Literally. So uh, Mercedes is like that. Uh, just for the show. All, yeah, he's like that on the show, but off the show. Mercedes is the, the guy. That's our brother, like. And they were microphones. We had to yeah, wear them. Yeah, seriously. Hey, the, the anal beads, which they, they were really annoying. They were so annoying. Because, like, you didn't want to, like, you want to casually be on TV on HBO, but there were so many steps to take before you got to be on TV, and that was annoying. Like, the audio guys would be like, come on, you got to get mic'd up. Mic'd up, mic'd up. The producer would be like, you got to sit right there, sit by him, and then uh, you're going to talk about what happened last night. It was just like, can we just talk about normal stuff? Please. Like, and every morning they would make us put them on at like eight in the morning. It yeah. was the worst. And we wouldn't take them off to like two o'clock in the morning. And you couldn't get in the pool or else you'd get electrocuted and die. And, <laughs> and then they would, HBO would find us for dying in their microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that got at me the most was you couldn't wear a necklace while you wore the yeah. anal bead microphones because the necklace would like clink Scrape against it. it. Yeah, and they and didn't it. like that. And I took the, I, I tried to sneak my necklace like every single time on the show because it looked good. And they'd be like, nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. Benedict, nope. take your necklace off. And I'd be like, oh. so They I did it to it me off. a few times too. Put it in my pocket. And then what do you know? I lost my necklace. So, and they from, were mad at him for it. They were. They were like, oh my God, that's your interview necklace. You need to go find it. I know. I was like, you took it. <laughs> <laughs> but that that was the, the Those anal, what the anal bead theory. Were. But yeah, we did use them on each other. A bunch. That's how we knew who's with who, based off the smell. <laughs> we were like, it's Tom's. <laughs> <laughs> smells like protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Let's keep going. Benedict, this is Ashley Grasco, and I also live in Indiana, and I would like to know if you'd like to go grab a drink sometime. Okay. Oh, this is anonymous, and you said your name. I oh, know. That's crazy. I don't know. Uh, sure. Just depends where you're going to be. You guys should actually go get coffee. He's a coffee. coffee guy. Yeah, that's, that'd be good. That's the way to his When heart. people say grab drinks, I'm like, I mean, what does that actually mean? What are you trying to do to me? I'm a, I'm a nice girl. Coffee? Sure. Let's get an espresso. Oh my god! Was that a good callback? That was. Back that was I'm good. learning. Actually, you, you should have been more confident because it was a good joke. Oh, you made me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel it as much. Damn, I hate it here. <laughs> you love it. You're moving. Let's keep going. My friend and I literally watched Jay Breen's fake pass out about 5,000 times <laughs> and died every single time. So we want to know if there's any uncut or unshowed scenes that were just as hilarious and if you two and your bromance would ever consider doing something separate in the future we love you guys wait i'm confused why'd she say it was fake so my pass out was it was obviously i was exaggerating i was being like dramatic but that's how it felt on the inside but they actually did do you remember when uh casey and mercedes were arguing yeah that's an unshown that's fight unshown too. funny fight and it was hilarious because it was a verbal argument and it was just they're going back and forth and like we're on the couch oh we i remember this i remember this and we're like just looking back and forth it was like, like a tennis match oh my god we're like and they <laughs> the, showed jay did they show you yes bro and jay Brown was like 
And I'm like just jumping up and I'm like falling off the, they cut it, but I was falling off the couch because it was so funny. And that was like pretty hilarious. But yeah, I think uh, I, if I could speak for Ben and I, like I think we're both, we're trying to uh, kind of do some things to where you will see more of us, you know, outside of F-Boy Island. Should do like um, a podcast or something. Yeah. <laughs> Called Expresso. <laughs> Expresso podcast. But uh, we're just trying to do a bunch of stuff. So yeah. I'm trying to think of what else was unseen on the show. That was I'm, really funny. Actually, I have one like random thing. Um, Jabrian would sit on the couch like when we were waiting to film because there'd be like breaks of like an hour in between. We didn't have anything to do. So mm. like you can't do anything in an hour. You can't yeah. really work out. You can go to sleep. You can just sit there and talk. But he'd always sit on the couch and there's a pot oh. on like this uh, this table to the right oh of the couch. God. And he'd put it on his hand like you were just chilling at home. Or and something. I'll go like this. So there's a big pot on his hand. He'd just be like this. I'll be moving it forward and back. Yeah. And uh, every, all the producers were just looking for us to like mess something up. So they'd be like, Jabrin, put that pot down here. You're going to break it. And then he did it like every day for like 17 days straight. And one day the fucking pot broke. But it didn't break. <laughs> but it didn't break from me. Someone else broke it. And they're all like, hey. And they said, Jabrin did it. I said, I haven't touched the pot all day. And I, I had to take the blame. I, but I played with it every, there was, I played with a lot of the furniture. There was like a, a straw ball of like oh, just yeah. old hay and I would just toss it and play with it. And That's they would how yell at me. Were. Like before we had mixers, like parties at night, they'd be playing music and like getting us hyped up before the girls came over. The producers would be getting us like set up and make cleaning up and make sure we're wearing the right shit. And they'd be playing music and we'd pass this little straw ball around like it was Literally like potato, it was a real. And act like we were just doing like and one mixtape moves, <laughs> passing it across the room. It was the, that was the best shit That was me. fun, bro. And the cameras were never on us during that. I know. But there's actually, you can actually see it in one of the scenes, too. I think when Tamaris and all the girls walk in, I actually have the pot in my hand. Like just, No way. Yeah, you see it slightly. I'm just moving it back and forth. And I laughed, and I was like, oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> I do that at my own house. I play with the furniture. I always do that, bro. All the stuff. Like when we would toss fruit around, I used to do that at my house all the time. Oh, my God. My mom hated that. I know. I'd throw an orange up in the air for two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All right, let's do the next one. Let's go. Hi, Jay, Breen, and Ben. Um, just two quick questions, one for each. First for Jay Breen, um, just want to know why you played it. It seems like you played it pretty conservatively. You were there more as like a, you know, a friend or a brother, not so much romantically. I don't know. I mean, they only edit show so much. And then for Ben, um, did you ever tell Louise off camera that you were just not in to PDA? Because I... Like PDA on camera. I mean, I think that's totally natural. I'm um, just, yeah. You know, I just want to know if that conversation was there. All right, thanks, guys. That's good. That's a good question. You first. Uh, you know, I I feel like I did play conservatively, but at the same time, there were some things that were cut. Uh, if I can go back and do it again, I would be a lot more. This is gonna sound so bad, but more. Uh, I'll say assertive. I was gonna say aggressive. I thought you were gonna say sexual. I was like, I was gonna say aggressive, but that's just not it. I would be. I would have been a lot assertive more assertive. Is a great word. And uh, I feel like I would have. You know, I think. But at the same time, you kind of get a feel for the girls and kind of what they want, and you you see at the end of the day, it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't matter what you do. If you're not that guy, you're not that guy, and you can tell that pretty early on. So there's a. You just have to accept your role or kind of just kind of make a beeline and do something else mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I chose to do you know but I do I, if I could go back I would have been for sure a little more assertive yeah I feel you but the PDA thing uh, yeah I don't really like doing that on camera I mean duh who is really comfortable doing that I don't know but it comes easier to some people than uh, others and I, I don't know I had to warm up to it for sure but I don't think it needs to really be said so there wasn't a conversation I wasn't like oh my god I'm scared to kiss you <laughs> but like at the, you can just feel when somebody is like into you, but like yeah. this now is not the time type shit. And that's kind of the vibe I was putting off. But I would, I mean, I would show her here and there, but it wasn't going to be like full on. Like, let me choke you out during this massage I'm giving you. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not that guy. Yeah. Especially when like 50 other guys are sitting around in a circle watching that's you so waiting, weird. waiting their turn to talk to the girl you just kissed. So like, and it almost turns you off like, oh, she just kissed other guys. I'm not going to go beg her to love me you had to like brainwash yourself like yeah. I, like i would like i had to watch mercedes kiss her then i had to do it right after i was like bro I just kiss mercedes Dude, not for louise sure kiss mercedes. <laughs> it had nothing to do with louise that was all mercedes and you <laughs> that was the bromance you guys missed i swear how many how many times mercedes and uh benedict kissed each other in real life <laughs> can someone can someone tally that up <laughs> that's so whack all right let's let's go Do you think it was weird going on a date after Mercedes went on a date with her? 
and knowing what happened all night. Oh my God. Dude, what? honestly, I didn't know what happened all night, but like I had a good feeling. So I was like, uh, kind of weird. But the thing that nobody knows is on my 24 hour date, which was the last date, I didn't go up to her room. She put me on the cot, which means oh, like, yeah. uh, you're not coming up to my room. But I was like, uh, like it, it, it didn't feel like a, like she was dissing me. Cause she told me after she was like, I, I can't like do this in 48 hours. And I respected that a lot. From did you, her. and did that you, made me like Louise more. But did you feel like, like before, before she explained it be, to me, I was well, like, even that, did you, during the, the process of your 24 hour, did you feel like, okay, I'm going to get invited to a room or did you feel like I'm not going to, she's not. No, gonna the, no, it was, uh, it was looking good. Oh really? Is yeah. That, and then the, then all of a sudden we got back to the house and the flip kind of switch. Mm. And I was like, this doesn't feel right anymore. Like it says in uh, I'm like, what happened? Mm. Did I say flip switch? The flip kind of switch. It like threw me off. I wasn't listening switch for like 10 flipped. seconds because I couldn't understand what you meant. The, the switch kind of flip. I always do that. Oh my God. It, it took me a few seconds. Bro, oh every time I say coin toss, I say toin toss. Oh my God. I'm going to start saying that now. <laughs> but that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, everybody knew. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how it was. It just didn't feel right. And she was like, um, I'm going to put you like, you're not coming up. And I was like, all right, I, I don't really care that much. <laughs> well, fine. Yeah. I was tired anyway. I, I, I couldn't perform. I no way. Mm -mm. I couldn't perform a damn thing. I mean, you kissed her feet enough. You should have been able to. You better stop. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I didn't kiss him for that long. <laughs> Let's keep going. Who even is J. Brienne? I don't really remember him i mean you guys were friends in the end <laughs> i didn't even see anything like that somebody didn't watch the show <laughs> somebody had 15 shots of tequila before they left a voice message yeah, who even is jay brian i don't know but you know how to say my name you know something Ooh. about me <laughs> who even is he i'm no, somebody we had, we had a whole 17 seconds on the show of us broing out literally but even before that they cut a lot of our scenes but yeah. we were together all the time we're brothers Man. For life. They did not catch a lot of stuff, which was annoying. Dude, there was parts of, dude, we would just be cracking up, like, on the side of the pool or Crying something. And no, bro. I'd be like, where is the camera? There's 17. Literally, and they're just watching other stuff. <laughs> watching Nikolai call her a dumb, call Louise a dumb blonde. That was good, that was like, good TV, though. But, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what up, Ben? Love your content, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> My question for you is, would you rather spend a year of your life out in L.A. as a part of Lukash's roster Ooh. or sign a one-year lease with Tom and live in a tiny one-bedroom apartment with him? What are you picking? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dope. I would spend a year with Tom, bro. I like Tom. Me and Tom hung out a lot. Yeah, actually. Tom is dope, dude. Yeah. He's dope. I don't know much about Lucas to even want to spend more than a day with him. He's cool. He's just, he's a, um, he's just out there. Yeah. He's just a little sour. He's just hell. Tom, Tom is dope, dude. You guys kind of got, he got a bad edit, but Tom is hilarious. And he's like a real genuine good guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might marry him actually. If you stay with, you, you guys might sleep together. <laughs> oh God. No, but me and Tom would wake up at like 8 a.m. and work out every morning from like 8 to they told us to put our mics on. And so me and Tom talked a lot on the show. And Tom's a dog, bro. Tom's dope, dude. Like, yeah. dope. Yeah. Right, let's go. Like, question for you and Jabrian. If you could look like one other guy on F-Boy Island. Oh, I know mine. Who would it be? Oh, I think I know mine. Who's yours? Elon. Really? Hell yeah. Have you, Elon looks great. He looks so yeah, good, Yeah, Elon. I don't, they didn't show a lot of Elon, Elon on the show, but Elon looks amazing. He's uh he's real chisel rocked up, good looking dude. Elon's like a great looking guy. Um, he had the, his abs were like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, Elon. Elon was Elon was a great looking guy. He was for taking sure. care of his body on the show. On bro. the show, he was, he, he was eating. His diet was all cut up. Consistent. He was sponsored by Al Alpha Elite. Alpha Elite, yeah. And yeah, he yeah, yeah. Uh, he's about his shit. I he was very like admirable. Yeah. Elon was like, I think it's I L O N. Yep, that's what I just typed in. But oh, really? Uh, yeah, but know. Elon was like on his stuff like the entire. We would be eating like amazing breakfast, and you look over, and Elon has like, yep, Elon there has like uh, 
uh, what, like some egg whites, some um, fruit, and like that's it. He's like, oh no, that's all I can eat for right now. Like he was, Elon was dope. He was and you dope. know what? I was talking he to him. Great like, smile too. I was talking to him behind the scenes, and he was gonna go to. He was a top five uh, recruit his oh, senior year soccer. for soccer in the country. Yeah. And uh, he went to some badass school. I don't know the top five schools. I feel like it might have been some Arizona, something out there. But uh, he just wasn't feeling it and stopped playing soccer and just started like lifting heavy in the gym. So yeah. that's crazy. That's a level of like. I regret on going on reality TV. Is that real? On his magazine? No, nah, I think they just made up because they said I'm a plant dad. I am, but they didn't know that. I never talked about my plants. It's another business. Yeah, true. But Elon's dope. Who would I wait? Who would I want to be? I'd yeah. want to be Asante, bro. Ooh, so he's got a nasty swag, bro. style. He got every swag. single night. I'm a little he would hurt. Wear something. I'm a little hurt. You didn't say me. Stop. It's whatever. I did it on purpose. You stupid dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Asante you was swagged out. I was waiting for you to. Asante was swagged out every yeah. night. Every night, his dreads are always clean. Like he had the dopest hoodie. Oh I'll my never God. forget. It was Supreme, but it didn't say Supreme, and it just had a bunch of colors on it. I was like, God, I want that shit. I wore one of Asante's shirt shirts one of the nights. I was like, Bro, let me wear this this flannel. He was like, Go ahead, and I just like I felt so dope. He had so much cool shit. Yeah, Asante's a good one. All right, let's go. Do they tell you what you need to wear on the show every day, or do they have a certain dress code that you have to abide by? On F Boy Island. Uh, did they tell? No, nah, they didn't. They never told us. I they think did they check us though for yeah. something stupid. Oh, okay, we had to have color. Yeah, they never let us wear black and white. It was like because for some reason guys only ever wear black and white when they go places, which is so stupid of us. And I'm, a lot of nights we will all come down in the same outfit, and they're like, no. And they will point out, you need to change. You need to change. You need to change. And same with like elimination night. They wanted us to kind of they wanted to differentiate us when we were sitting next to each other so that we didn't all look alike it looks good on tv it when does. you have a lot of color so they knew what they were doing but they never like made us wear like hey you need to put on we have another shirt for you we have we want you to wear this they were like suggest unless it was things. elimination elimination yeah. was like a step up from yeah other shit we had to wear because we had to look super nice it depended on the person too like i think some people they kind of like wouldn't really trip about but a lot of people who like needed a lot of help they would say all right come down to wardrobe and we'll like give you they were even when you went to wardrobe though they didn't like make you wear stuff i don't think they had wardrobe season one i think they got it season two because the people on season one they could dress but like they just didn't have any like guidance yeah and i think all their clothes were dirty (laughs) (laughs) swear to god their shirts had like mustard and ketchup stains on it but we had this dude in wardrobe that like if i didn't know what to wear i'd go down there and he'd just hook it up he like knew all my clothes he was dope like he was a he was, a, he was he, uh, not only that, but he would also like hype you up. He'd be like, no, you look good. I'm like, do I? Thank you. You, you walk down there with no confidence and come out with the same outfit that you walk down there with with more confidence. God, he would juice you he, up. He knew what he you was doing. You were ready to go for the night. Man. Literally, he, he, was, he, was, uh, he was pretty up there. So but, yeah, but they didn't make us. There'd be, there was one night where I wore black jeans, white shoes, white tee, and a leather jacket. And I hid the whole night because yeah. I, I just, I, that's what I wanted to wear. And I didn't have any color on. I hid behind a pillar oh for like 20 <laughs> minutes. So no one saw me. The first night. They're like, the girls are coming in and I left behind the pillar. And everybody's like, why don't you wear that? Like, how can he wear that? They were hella mad. And he couldn't change. They're, nope. they're all about it's continuity. They're over. all about continuity. They're like, you leave him alone. Remember the first night. So the first, the first elimination night, I had on these uh, like checkered plaid pants with like this sweater. I remember that. And they were like, yeah, Jabrin, you got to change. <laughs> and I was like, why? They were like, well, you know, they said the pants kind of do something weird on camera. Oh, and you wear flannel on camera, yeah. like messes with the lens. Yeah. And it looks like your legs are like, are moving. like moving. And I was like, I'm not changing. And they're like, you have to. And like, I, we were all so sitting down. I went mad. upstairs in my room. I was like so pissed. I was so mad that I had to change. And like, I think there was like a hold up a little bit for me because I was just up there. And I was just standing there with, with my without my shirt on, with my arms folded, leaning up against the wall, literally throwing a tantrum. And then I was like... Man, I'm going to put this on. Not just put something else on, like some navy blue pants with like a... It looked pretty good. It looked clean, but... Hey, I I, I got something that I want you to explain. All right, so you were up for elimination one night, Mm -hmm. and Tamaris called you out, and you were like, you know, you were reaching for something in your rebuttal, and you said you wrote a poem. (laughs) Break it down. So me and Tamaris had, like, this week... All right, like the past, like two episodes, Tamaris and I have been writing poems to one another, right? 
And uh, it's actually was going good. I think me and Ben watched one of the poems she wrote, read one of the poems she wrote, wrote to did. me. It was and good. It, it was really good. At the, I, at the at the end, she was like, I just want you to stay. Please don't leave me. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, all right, I got to come up with something next. And that week is when Austin did what he did and said Benedict was an F-boy. And Tamara's got mad at me, actually, for standing up and saying stuff because she was like, I feel like Damien's always in drama. I wasn't, but whatever. And uh, But I understood why she was upset. And she brought me up there for elimination, basically, like, just kind of to scare me and let me know, like, hey, I'm upset. Yeah. You know, your, and I told her, like, hey, I want to focus on what we're doing. You know, I actually wrote you a poem. Dude, I did not write a poem. This is so funny. I, like... I, I totally believe it. I was going to write a poem. I was, like, in the midst of writing one almost, kind of. Like, it was kind of like really. that. And I was, like, thinking... And she was... And Nikki Glazer goes, can we hear it? And I was like, oh, uh, it's upstairs. I don't have it. So I'm thinking, like, once they like, okay, it's upstairs inside the house. Like, it's going to be too much for him to go. Yeah, and Nikki yeah. Glazer touched her ear and goes, can you go get it? Oh, God. What happened in and your head? I was like, oh, my God. I have to... As soon as she said that, I was like, I have to, I'm like, my, my mind is racing. I'm like coming up with the poem already. Oh, yeah. So but you'd be ready, though. You're smooth. Oh, my God, dude. And she's, uh, she's like, all right, go get it. So I look at the cameras because I know the cameras are going to chase me. And I'm like, I'm faster than them. So I, I saw you run upstairs like you were like dude, during football practice. I ran something. full speed. So the cameras were taking too long to come to me. And I grabbed my notebook, ran in the bathroom, closed the door because I knew the cameras going to follow me. And I wrote down a poem. But I only I only thought of like maybe eight words. Well, what, do you do you have any I don't idea remember what it, was? it? I don't remember. It was kind of good, but it your was handwriting good. was so shaky because so you, you were like, like <laughs> you were like nervous. It was like um, I care about you. We're working well together. Something like that. <laughs> uh, like I want you. You want me. Let's do this. And it rhymed we'll, at the end. We'll forever like, be or something. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and Nikki Glazer goes, hmm, a haiku. <laughs> Dude, and they were seven five, and then everybody like looked at me like, "That's what you, the poem." I thought it was good. I was like, "Yeah!" And everybody's looking around like that sucked. And I'm sitting there like, "Well, I wasn't done. I wasn't. I didn't say I was done with it." I'm like, "But," and nobody knew that. Ooh, I like. I was like, good, "Oh my bro. god!" And then later on, I said, "I was out of breath," and I look at Ben and go. I, I didn't have a poem. I had to write it upstairs <gasps> on the toilet. See, I would do all that, but I wouldn't have a pen. I'd be like, "Fuck." Because <laughs> I knew they were gonna want. I'd the like paper. prick my finger and write it in blood. Oh my I'd god! I need something. Give her a blood offering. <laughs> you just cursed her. This is how much I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I, no, it was I, good. You I, pulled I it, it off. You pulled it off. I'm glad that. Oh my god! I forgot all about that. Man, that was that was. Tamaris is like that was that was some behind the scenes shit, bro. Right there. She was like, "That's so. It's so little." I was like, "Well, it's, it's from the heart. It doesn't take much." <laughs> all right. What we got next? Hey, Ben, I know you and Jay Brand are dying to see each other naked, but don't want it to be seen as quote-unquote gay. So why not, after a workout, you two go hit the gym showers together? And it's just two dudes hanging out in public. Safe space. Uh, so I know nothing wrong with being gay, because I love you. ta Fuck. <laughs> First of all, he was hella Be laying hornier. down. He was hella laying down doing this. <laughs> <laughs> he was on his back, touching his chest. What time did he... 4.13 p.m. you sent that? Oh, my God. That was the middle That's of the even, day. Was that... Were you at work? Weirdo, bro. Oh, my God. He was whispering in his cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even had dinner yet. <laughs> I was like, I want to see you guys naked. Fuck. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> the horny man. Okay, who would you fuck, kill, or marry? Tom, Peter, or Mikey D? I mean, Michael. That's for kill you. them all. <laughs> <laughs> kill all of them. Oh, God. I love them all. No, yeah. for, I marry them all. Who did she say? Tom, Peter, and Mikey? Mm hmm. That, was that is a nice three. That is. That was actually a really good. Peter's Mikey's the, Peter's hilarious, the guy. bro. Honestly, Mikey's, oh my god. Honestly, I think Mikey should have had more uh, camera time. I'm kind of pissed, and I think everybody else is pissed that he got eliminated so early. So we were up one night. Si this is like a little funny story. Me, Benedict, Mikey D, and I think Brent were all upstairs next to my room one night. It was maybe like three o'clock <gasps> in the morning, and a, a Carlos had just got eliminated, <laughs> and we were laughing. And uh, Mikey D was legit confused. He was like, "I don't get it." And we're like, we're what? what? He goes, how does a guy like that 
get on a show like this and we laughed for like an dude, hour straight bro like he says some like funny shit he says it so, so serious serious dude he goes he goes how do you get on this fucking show literally and we just died laughing because we were I, in like laugh mode because like seven funny things happened and then dude i think we laughed at that for seven minutes oh my like, god like we, we sounded stop. like a pack of hyenas well because before that we talked about carlos the entire like <laughs> we knew we were like carlos is going home like the girls will all be here and carlos will be in the opposite side of the of the entire backyard like whatever we were at little I don't know the area just chilling I'm like what is he does he work what does he do he here just, is he, he one of the guys you thought he was one of the chefs you never saw him I was like I literally thought he worked I was like he <laughs> works here bro like he's a producer or something because you you never saw Carlos and he did not care but after the show like he you know we all follow each other and stuff yeah. and dude, carlos, carlos is, is dope, jacked bro. he's dope dude carlos does like cowboy stuff like he rodeos and he rides horses and he travels a bunch i know he was man. in like a a, a bodybuilding show and all that Car- carlos hell? is dope dude. He, he just I, I think once he got to the show he was just kind of like mm, this isn't he my thing checked out yeah so he was like mm, i'm ready to bounce that was so funny but bro. it was hilarious carlos was not feeling it and he did not care i don't even remember seeing him during the day mm-hmm I don't know where he was. I think he they had a they gave him like a day pass to go explore the rest of the country. <laughs> They're like, mm, you can go have you do go, your thing. go to town, <laughs> get yourself some groceries, be safe. Who else? Peter, dude. Peter at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't trust him. I thought he was like a plant, like for the girls or something. I, really I didn't did. know who Peter was. They're like, he's from last season. I, I watched the the beginning of the first season, mm-hmm. dude. And Peter was hilarious. Was he? Holy shit. He was more chill this season huh, than last season. Yeah, he like he like matured. Yeah. He did, was for real. Great little plot line. No, but I think he actually did because on the first season, he was just like wild and out. Like just, <laughs> he was so funny. <laughs> I mean, he's still funny as hell, but like like with girls, like he's just smooth as hell. Yeah, he is. He's actually, I, I feel like as far as the smoothest guys on the show, Peter's like for sure. He up there. had game. For sure. He was, ga- he gamed Mia up. Like, I know. I was like, Mia. Well, pay attention. Yeah. Like, he was like, yeah, you know, whatever you want, I got. Whatever we got, we won't. I was like, me, he just said the same thing back. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> he said the same thing in reverse twice Literally. and you believed him. And you loved it. You thought he just, it was so philosophical. He was like, yeah, whatever you want, I need. We got it. We could do it together. We, 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 yeah. we with each other. I'm like, Mia, there's nothing different about that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do you guys listen to him? He, he loves me. I'm like, he didn't say that. <laughs> he didn't talk about that at all. <laughs> oh, was God. That, Tom? Oh, we already, talk, we already juiced Tom up. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave Tom alone a little bit. All yeah. right, let's go to the next one. This is from the same girl. Okay. We go one more time. Wait. That's good. It's coming. Which one of Luis's toes did you like best? Oh my God. That's actually a good one. I was actually also curious about that. I, I saw th- you, you love the third one. So I we'll think see. I went for the gap in between the big toe and the, the pointer finger toe. That genuinely grossed me out just now. Mm. There's a lot of dead skin there. You shut <laughs> up. <laughs> no, I didn't really. I think I was, uh, you were partial to the heel. I think I, I think I kissed like the top. And I was going, I was going bottom. I just kept going. I just kept like, I did like a kind of a tornado around it. Like, it, like, like if, if it's a hurricane on her foot, like I was the eye. Cut it out. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. You need to not ever do that again. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my What'd God. What do you want me to do? I, I had to be sexy. Is that the only, is that what your mind thought of to be sexy? <laughs> Let me kiss her foot till. The, she told till the, me to. Till the skin comes off. I did. You're going to kiss I her foot devour, raw? I did devour Mm-mm. that shit. You did. Devour downtown. I was like, oh my, stop, man. It's enough. We get it. I swear that I did it once and they like replayed it and reversed it. And Bro, replayed that's it cap, and dude. You hella did it. You did it for the whole time. you like, forget this massage. Your whole, Her whole butt is there. Her whole body I kissed there. her butt. Barely. I like, thought they were. I, no, that no, I the, swear I did that more than the foot. The face you made to kiss her butt is the face you should have made when you kissed her feet. What did I do? You're like, mm. <laughs> It was like I don't wanna like <laughs> you. Your faces were wrong. I was like, did that hurt him? Face swap. Oh god. All right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, my question to you, which by the way, you're fucking hilarious. I love you and love you you're more. Like one of my favorite people on social media, probably my favorite. I've uh, been following you. I'm like a sub ten, sub ten k follower. Uh, love you, bro. Been with you since the beginning. That's dope. But um. So it was awesome to see you on FBoy Island. 
And uh, I'm eventually going to get to my question. The question is, since the show, how have things changed for you in kind of your career, I guess? Like, do you see things going differently for you down, like, the comedy skid route? Or are you more thinking, like, I'm just going to do reality TV shows and just be an influencer? Love you long time. That's a good (laughs) good question. Um... Yo, I didn't know a, like so many people watched F Boy Island. I didn't know either. So I was like, I don't think this is gonna do much for me, but like it'll do something, and I'll get an HBO credit, and I'll meet Nikki and a bunch of dudes. Like who knows? Literally, yeah, yeah. But like, a lot of people recognize me, and they're like, "Bro, F Boy Island," and I'm like, I can't believe this many people watch F Boy yeah, Island. Dude. Honestly, yeah. Like so, people know how to say my name from the show, that's which crazy. I think is crazy because my whole life nobody has known how to say my name, my entire life. So like even yesterday, I think me and Ben were walking around and somebody goes, <gasps> "We were like all oh, out there go J Brian," and I was like, "What? Like you know that? Wow, you know how to say it? Like it's just it's it's surprising how many people like actually notice you." I was at the gym back at home and some I'm like the guy you could tell the gym clerk he didn't want to be like do too much, so he waited so everybody was gone. I was like, "Hey, can I have a basketball?" He goes, "Yeah." So uh, how was your experience? Wait, that was at your... At, at my gym. That's crazy. He was like, how was your experience? I was like, oh, shoot. It was dope, dude. Like, you know, he was like, oh, just so you know, all the other clerks know too, but I told them to be cool about it. I was like, oh, no, nah, I appreciate it, dog. Like, <laughs> that it's is cool nice. that people like kind of like say stuff and they notice you and they know you and stuff. So that, it's, it's changed for me. Obviously, me and you, I wouldn't be in Indiana or in Indy if right. I didn't, you know, go on the show and we wouldn't be doing this podcast, so... I remember I told you on the show, like midway through, like we started becoming homies and I was like, bro, you got to come to Indy and get on the podcast sometime. But like, I kind of was just like, that's never going to happen. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'll slide. And (laughs) I think, and we became like, so I think people don't understand, like we, we clicked for sure when we were like on the show. Uh, Like, you know, there are people just like there are many people that we kind of click with. But like once we got like deeper in the show and like him and I like really start sharing like some real stuff, I was like, oh yeah, this is my guy. For sure. And that's how we knew like our minds kind of think alike and like morals and different values and how we like kind of deal with situations and people kind of align. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's my guy. If you're ever on reality TV, anybody, you got to find somebody that you can like trust to like run shit by. Yeah. Because I was like, all right, like he's not going to fuck me over. I can just tell by like shit. So Mm -hmm. if I have like a game plan or like he's not out to get me, I can tell like I'm going to run it by him and then like we can check it out. And like it's not going to like come off weird, even though everything I did came off weird. But like it still (laughs) was okay. Hey, quick question. What would you do if Jay Brian like during the man's plan started like talking shit about you? Oh, oh my god yeah. he, you, I don't know if you could have What could've. if he just spilled everything Like if I just started That would have been a crazy plot twist on TV Oh bro been I would have so spi- spilled everything about you Oh my god <laughs> We would have fought We would have started fighting But not like if I would have no, I would have ran over there and covered your mouth and threw you off the deck <laughs> I swear to god I'd be mean, like get out The only and that's the, that's the funny thing is The only thing I'll be able to spill is stuff that we intimately talked about and and the cameras wouldn't have been able to cover it because yeah. it wasn't like uh, it didn't make sense like yeah. in the plot. People would have been like, "Wait, what the?" F-? And yeah, I, w- I I couldn't do that to you, dog. They didn't. They- what did he do in fourth grade? <laughs> <laughs> he threw up on who? Like shit, like that. <laughs> who did he steal from? <laughs> <laughs> he stole batteries from Target. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a klepto and sharpies. Wow, that's I would have. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't have done that. That would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. That's a good ass ever. question. But uh, uh, how's my, oh yeah, people recognize me a lot more because of F-Boy Island. I never thought that would have happened, but a lot of people like, they'll just, they just scream F-Boy Island to me and I'm like, that's so funny that you watched it. Yeah. It's just, because it's such a funny show. I feel like they know everything about my life and it's hilarious. And they're like, yo, where's Luis? Like we know. Right, that. every time. Like she lives in Florida. As far as like career, yeah. <laughs> as far as career, maybe a little tour soon, opening up for Nikki. In Vegas, September 2nd, that's like the biggest thing that's ever happened to me, honestly. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm just playing it by ear. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> Probably should, but I don't know. Not really my style. Let's go. Let's keep going. Hi, I hope you're doing well. My question for you is if you ever kept up with the It's Glonky guy, and wow. if so, what's he doing? What's he up to? Good question. Um, and also, I guess I should ask a question about you. So I'm curious who, if anyone, you get your comedic inspiration from. <laughs> Fuck! Whoa, that was amazing at the end. 
That was amazing. I don't think you can run it back without listening to the whole thing, but yeah, it might be worth cannot. it. It oh might be worth God. it. Hit it. Hi, I this, hope I you're like, doing she's so well. Cute. My no, question she's so for sweet. you is question. if you so ever kept out. up with the It's Glonky guy, and if like so, Frodo what's Baggins? he doing? What's he up to? I'm fine. Um, and also, I guess I should ask a question about you. So I'm curious who, if anyone, you get your comedic inspiration from. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck! That is wild, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that was such a plot twist. Oh my bro. god! She I did was... not see that coming. I never would have guessed. Why? That was actually that was crazy. That was dope. That, I like that. Maybe that's the new one. Maybe that's the girl version of ta fuck. Just <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. But oh the, my god. The glonky guy. Uh, I saw him after that interview. I saw him like a week later, and he was. Uh, just walking around, like kind of. I feel like he was chanting something, and I saw him. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And he was on the circle, and I was like, "Do I do it?" I didn't have a, a camera with me. I just had my phone with me, and I was like, "Is it gonna? Should I do something?" It's never gonna beat the first one, so I just left it alone. And then I haven't seen him since. Honestly, I have not seen him since. Yeah, he moved. He's big know. now. He makes real money. He he probably is, but everybody loves him. I wish I could get in contact with him. If I do, he's definitely coming on the podcast. That would be insane. Oh, my God. That would be hilarious. I I forget the other question. Where you get your comedic inspiration from? Oh. um, I don't know. When I was growing up, it was a lot of, like, listening to comedy albums in cars, like, on road trips on the way to see my family and stuff in Michigan. So my dad really liked Jerry Seinfeld, so I listened to that. Legend. Um, man, a lot of different flavors. I really like Aries Spears growing really up good. on Mad TV. I would watch him, and then I looked him up on the internet, and I would just, I would just binge Aries Spears like five second or five minute clips, like on Kazaa. I'd download them. Pablo Francisco was super funny when I was growing up. Me and my sister just used to listen to Pablo Francisco like his hour. It was just amazing. We just ever, listen to it by the computer while my mom was asleep and just look at each other and die. Like I'll never forget it. Did you ever? Uh, obviously, I think everybody kind of had Pandora. Uh, did you ever have a comedy station on Pandora? Yeah, dude. It was just was stand up, and I would just roll it, and it was just perfect. Bro. Yes, I do dude. that. I still do that. So it's sometimes. like it's like a two minute. It's like a it's like bits yeah. all day. And it's hilarious, dude. And it, you get so many. It's such a variety. It's so much inspiration. Such a variety. It's pretty dope. You find that's a great way to find new comedians too. Yeah, and you're like, who is this? Is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Who is this guy? All right, let's go. Um, Couple more. How long have you known your mother, and how many men has she slept with? Wow. <laughs> Wait, who, who is that directed to? Well, I'll, I'll be straight up with you. I would never know that. I would never know. My mom, according to my mom, she, and I believe her, she's only slept with the men she's been married to. She's been married three times, by the way, guys. Uh, I've known my mom for 31 years, and she's never slept with anyone besides me when I was a child. Uh, Did that sound weird? <laughs> It weirded me out. <laughs> I meant like sli- actual sleep. Yeah, my mom told me uh, she actually <laughs> found she actually that. found me. She found me in like a, um, I was at a Whole Foods in the in the diaper section looking for diapers. For you were born in Whole Foods. Yeah, my mom found me there. So what a bougie ass baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I dress so nice. I'm a Whole Foods kid. Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which one of the guys on the show was the filthiest guy there? The filthiest. Who was the filthiest guy on the show? That's a weird one to know. Um, I think we're, uh, I don't think anyone was, honestly. Yeah, me either. But we all saw each other's butts. There, that whole entire mansion had showers with no shower curtains. And everybody showered facing the wall. Everybody did. So Except I'll, me, honestly. You, I, I have to have the water hit my back. That's how I shower. I have, yeah, I usually to, do too, but I didn't want everybody looking at me. So I, I had to like. I put the towel in front of the glass so it like it, it covered everything. It did Except not like though. my knees. It did not. The towels were never that long. I didn't care. Dude, the towels would cover our top half. So all you see is a bunch of bottom half butts. Just it was. Around. It was like. Pimply. Steroid butts all throughout the house, just showing in the shower. <laughs> That's just, all just you saw. Acne ass. 
<laughs> just everywhere. And there was no way, and everybody saw it. Nobody so. was really that dirty. Nobody was like the fart guy. Yeah, no. Because I feel like if there was a fart guy, like then if some one person broke the seal, then everybody would have been fart guys. Everybody was actually really clean, and a little, everybody was kind of like, surprising using too. a lot of cologne and trying to smell good, and you know. That, oh, I need that downstairs scene. bathroom did smell though, because that was the weirdest thing that there was only one bathroom. It was downstairs. such a community bathroom. What the hell? It one? A, it was a mansion. So it was the only it was the only bathroom downstairs, but everybody used it. So all of us and the girls, and then their producers, our producers, the cameramen, the behind the scenes, everybody, the people who worked in the house, everybody used that bathroom. That bathroom got worked. Blowing okay. that shit. That seat was hot. Okay, <laughs> that seat was hot always. It was seriously, and sometimes the girls would have like a freak out, and all three of them would run into that bathroom. And we'd be like, and we all have to pee. Everybody has to pee at no, the same time. The bathroom time. would smell like shit, and they're oh, yeah. in there discussing something. Like, I'm like, I know they smell it. Do they not oh, care? God, they smelled my lunch. They're over here talking about love, love, and love languages, and it just smells like beef and broccoli in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like carne asada. <laughs> oh no, for real. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. What's up, Benny? Um, my question is, how many up, of the self-proclaimed nice guys do you think were actually fuckboys? I feel like it's at least half of them. Why does he sound like Nico? I don't know. That was a quick message. I think uh, every nice guy has a little bit of F-boy in him. I think every F-boy has a little bit of nice guy in him. It's just, uh, it's just where the percentage lies. I don't know. Is there any guy that you look at, you're like, mm, that may have said he was a nice guy, that you're like, uh, definitely, like, he's not. There's no way. Or any F boys. My F boy, that's definitely a nice guy's Ken. I'm like, he's not an that's F boy. That's crazy. I was like, he's not an F boy dog. Like, I'm still shocked. No matter what. I'm still shocked he's an F boy. Yeah, it kind of hurts a little bit, to be honest with you. But I was like, are you sure when he said it? I was like, I think he got it fucked up. I was like, I, I don't think, think he understands. The, uh, there's no way because he's such a great dude. Nice guys that are F boys, though. Uh, I kind of forget who all the nice guys are. Um... Jared, Brand, AC, Nico, um, Dwayne, uh, <laughs> Jeremy, um, Carlos. Dwayne might be an F boy. I think Dwayne's an F boy for sure. For sure. I think, yeah. Dwayne has like the resting F boy face. The like, I'm, I'm an F boy from Boston, New York type. That. He's cool. Yeah. He's cool. He's an F boy though for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> it was him. All right, let's go. Let's do one more. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Um, my question to you, which by the way, you're fucking hilarious. I love you. And you're like this? one of my favorite yeah, people on social guy. media. Probably my I think we did that one. I just want to hear it again. I just want to hear all the compliments. We heard her. That's, that's, the, that's the crazy girl. <laughs> okay, so we have a question for your podcast. Ooh. So obviously on the show, um, the show. You know, we only see a portion of what really goes on on that oh island. God, she's a Kiwi. But I love it. How much, you know, from a sexual standpoint happens behind closed doors? Because clearly, you know, PG viewing and all that, like, they're not going to show us everything. It was so rated our viewing. I hope that you guys will talk in more detail about this on your podcast. Thank you. Sexual Ooh. stuff that happened behind closed doors. Follow me doors. with your sexy voice. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Horny Nothing police. Did. Nothing did, though. They were so strict about us with the girls, like. Yeah. They never let us be around them. Unless it was 24 hour date. And yeah. they kind of got a glimpse of what was happening there. But other than that, like, we could, you can't even. I, so every night, me and Benedict would kind of hide to walk the girls out. Oh, we did that. Every that was kind of baller. They started was. yelling at us. They would get so pissed. So the three girls would come up to all the guys at the end of the night. This might not even been on. And they were like, so, guys, uh, some of you need to step up your game. And then Tamaris would be like, yeah, and uh, the game, is it being played very well? And Mia yeah. would be like, and the game <laughs> is almost over. Literally. So see you tomorrow. And they'd all turn around at the same time and walk, walk out. Walk out in sync like And Charlie's all of Angels. us would be like, Oh my, like the principal just came down at your lunch and yelled at you. We were like, oh. but one time me and Jay and hid behind a plant and they were walking out and we like we walked out, out with them and we we're like, Hey, I hope you have a really good night. We're like, we're so <laughs> and they, bro, you know, it's funny. They told us that uh, Tamaris was like, I think we think that was so sweet that you guys walked us out. And then the next night we tried it again. They're like, the producers were ready. The they're like, get over here. They had like sniper rifles. They're like, Literally. Get back. They're like don't, don't you touch her. Don't you touch her. <laughs> we're trying to like touch him. They're like, don't, don't you touch her. We, like, we had to walk a shame back to the group. We're like yelling, girl. bye. We were, we tried. Like we, but they were like See super strict. Our voices are cracking and shit. We could not be around the girls without 
them there. So there was not much, honestly, like sexual anything until like towards the end. Yeah. But even then, I mean, I'm sure you can allude to that, cop boy. No, I no, nothing, bro. Nothing. I mean, just kissing and like people like being on each other, like at the, on the dates and all that stuff, like kissing feet. Na 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 cop boy. <laughs> but they were strict, bro. Yeah. They really were. And you know who is even more off limits more than anything? Uh, Nikki Glazer. Oh, my God. We couldn't even look at Nikki. Literally. And you wanted to. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you, she was, like, interesting to look and at. she was Because dope, she was, like, like, the only other, like, beautiful woman on yeah. the show that, like, was just always there. So and she anytime, was hilarious. And she, like, was very super in shape. And, like, I remember one time she was walking up the stairs, and I was like, who the fuck is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, literally. Like, I took, like, because you don't see any other girls. Besides the producers, but they all look month. like producers with mask on and all yeah. that. So you see somebody else, and I was like, is this a dream? And I was like, oh, okay. All right. And like one time I walked in, so downstairs where like the in the basement kind of where wardrobe was, Nikki Glazer had her own office, like little studio Ooh, down there. Did you ever look in there? No, I walked down there one time and she was chilling in like the kind of common area oh. in like some uh, shorts and just like chilling. I was like, hi. I'm like, why am I out of breath? But I was like, hi. You, you didn't do anything. She was like, hey, Jay Brian. I was like, hey. And they were like, get out. <laughs> Security. Like they kicked me out. I was like, I'm just trying to get my shirt. One day I was working out. And you could like see the beach from wherever, like the pool room where we mm-hmm. worked out. And she was like walking on the beach. And I was like, I looked at her for like 30 seconds. And I was like, who the fuck is that? And she was just, she looked at me and then looked away. I thought she was just like a random person on vacation. Mm. So I was like, who is she? Uh. And then she looked at me again and then looked away. And then she looked back at me and goes, and I was like, ah! <laughs> and under the pool table. So no, do you remember? Uh, that's that's funny. Do you remember? So we were so off limits to people though. Like if we were on the beach and people tried to talk to us, then, then producers run down and grab us. Like people were not allowed to talk to us. And obviously there were like some bachelorette parties going on. I think. Yeah. And we were chilling, and like the bachelorette girls, you, they were like probably in their forties. They looked. Like yeah, a lot older. Yeah, um, but they were like, like in hot tubs on balconies, yeah. and they could see everything we were doing. There everything. was like a group of people like up like on this like rooftop that would watch all our eliminations. Everything so they, they knew would scream everything. out. They knew it all, dog. They, I think they had like binoculars or something like that. They knew For everything. Sure. And then like they were one, recording with their phones. One day, like, fuck, they just know who just got everything. eliminated. And they would like walk up one day. They walked up and they were like, oh, they whispered. They're like, we know you guys can't talk to us because of the producers, but we're in the uh, mansion up the. They gave us address and threw a piece of paper up to me. And I caught it. And she was like, so just text us. And I'm like, if she only knew. We're literally pretty prisoners. We can't do anything. Pretty prisoners. So I just looked at it and it was like a, all it was all their numbers and like the address of where they were staying. And I just put it in my pocket. And like I never said anything. I was like, we wild. can't go up there. They uh one time they uh they were on we were on the at, in the pool and you know how we it was like an infinity pool. So mm-hmm. I like looked over and you could like literally like look down on the beach from there. There was nothing, no walls, nothing. And these group of like ladies walk by and they go, are you Casey from F boy Island? When he was in the pool. Oh yeah. (laughs) And Casey had so much game. He was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, uh, I mean, we have like a cooler down here. If you guys want to chill. And he's like, we can't chill, but like we get us some alcohol later. He said some shit like that. (laughs) And I think they actually tried to give us some alcohol, but I don't know if he got it or I don't know. Oh my God. That might have been the bottle that we snuck or something. They were so, they were like, yeah, they were super strict on us talking to anybody, anything like that. I wish that. Remember your family was like out there at the same time. My sister's. And we, his freaking family was there in I, Cabo while he was filming the show. And he was like, can I see my family? And they're like, hell no. They're like, no. You were like, damn. They're, I said, and I asked him, I said, I said this in there. I said, what if my family's walking on the beach and like, I'm looking at them. Can I go hug them? They're like, no, you can wave. I was like, can I at least. His fucking mom. I was like, can I scream and like say hello to them? They're like, no. Do, if they notice you, they notice you, but you cannot scream to them. I was like, I hate it here. I hope they don't come. <laughs> and it, they were out there the same time I was out there. It kind of, it was horrible. Did you see him? Nah. That's I'm good. glad I didn't. That's good. I was about to cry. Because we had that 10 minutes on the phone every Sunday. Oh my God, we Sunday. cried. I talked to my my dad, maybe. Bro, after I hung up the phone, I've never given a shit about my dad. I swear to God, I started crying. Dude, and you walked up to me, you were like, I was crying. I was like, bro, me too. I've never, cr- I don't give a shit. My dad was like, oh, just, are you eating well and working out? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. I'll talk to you later. And I was walking up the stairs almost crying. <laughs> and then the medic was like, hey, uh, do you need your hair pills for today? And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Wipe my tears. I was like, give me the pills. My hair's going to fall out. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what a reality check, bro. Oh, my God. Fuck and then you. after a while, we were like, we don't want to talk to our families anymore. Nah, they keep like, making us weak. That, bro. Yeah, oh, my did. God. They we were both so emotional. I was like, I needed it. It took me a day to recover from that. Oh, my God. Every time I looked at anybody, I started crying after that. I was like, <laughs> oh, I'll take two tacos. Looking at the chef. Oh my lord, that was that's funny. Okay, we got a wrap. Yo, that's espresso podcast shot two twenty six. Benedict Polizzi and J Brian. Follow J Brian at J A B R I A N E. J Brian. All social media. He's been putting out some fashion TikTok. So if you don't know how to dress, hit him up. Hit him up. All right. Join the Patreon. $5 a month for one extra episode a week. BenedictMerch.com. Vegas, September 2nd with Nikki Glazer. And okay, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, Bye sweeties. <laughs>